all right why do i run uh well it's quite a few things uh i love it but my wife hates it uh at first she was okay with it but i've ran multiple 100s i've had heat strokes blacked out so i've ran ir irresponsibly during the 100s like when i had the flu uh, uh i was running out i didn't realize i was allergic to coconut and i was drinking coconut water the whole time throwing up everywhere uh so there's a lot of factors into it but i feel like i've grown as a runner more responsible uh since my last 100 where i was trying to get across the causeway with no drink i thought i could make it instead of stopping and calling my wife and son to come bring me a drink uh so this year i'm gonna be more responsible with my running my training my weight loss I told my family i wouldn't run another 100 until i dropped 50 pounds so that's how we're gonna be doing it this year nine months guys let's drop this dang weight it's time when i'm running my fastest am i videoing the same time to talk no i told my pace back to like a 10 30 11 so i can talk and i'll take it back up to 8 40 and then i'll put it in the nines i'll adjust it while i'm running uh so it's an overall uh what you call it pace ah. all right so why do i run it's hard to explain uh, especially because my like my wife doesn't understand a lot of people i guess just don't understand like i love crossfit but it hits different when i'm doing crossfit <coughs> like I'm thinking of the movements I like very aggressive music during the run I listen to like lo-fi like very slow electronical music um it gives me time to think uh this is kind of like my medicine uh so instead of taking like psych medicine I run uh, instead of drinking and stuff like that I run and my wife gets worried she's like well what happens when you can't run Will you start drinking again? I'm like, no, this just helps. Makes me feel good when I'm out here. Like the sun, during the summertime, heat, during winter, the cold and the cloudy skies, the sound of the leaves and the rocks when I run over it, and the pavement, the sound of like everything around me. So I just recently started running with headphones. I normally run with none. So my first hour, I run with nothing. And then the next time I'll put something on just for fun because I'm trying to get used to running with headphones. <clears throat> so when I do a 100 during the nighttime, I'm not bored. But I prefer no headphones. So I can just hear, you know, the sounds around me. It just sounds nice. But other than it being like soothing for me, it's like an accomplishment that a lot of people take for granted that I don't because when I was 446 pounds, I could run maybe not even 100 meters. I don't know, it was so short. Like, I remember I was going to this gym where there was an ATM in the plaza right next to the gym, like three doors down. And I would run to that ATM and have to stop. And I couldn't run back because I was so exhausted. Uh, I remember I couldn't even walk because my heels hurt so bad. Every morning I'd have to stretch them. So being able to run is like a gift because I could never do it before. I mean, let a whole walk for far. So it's just really nice, man. Things that you couldn't do before that you can do definitely becomes addictive. So, I mean, I don't know. I just love me some running. Yeah. And I love how you can curate every day new goals, you know, going a couple meters further, a uh, couple feet further, a couple, couple miles further. It's like every day you can add a little bit. Like if I can run to the stop sign, next day I run a little past the stop sign. You know, you just keep adding on and it's satisfying. It makes you feel good. Like you're accomplishing something and you're trying hard, you know? It's just amazing. I love how you're just running against yourself. You don't care about anybody else's speed. You care about anybody else's time. This is your race, but it's amazing. 
Running community is one of a kind. You can't find that anywhere else. Yeah. So with running, my kryptonite is 1000% heat. Um, during the winter here in Florida, uh, you know, kind of going in the spring and stuff where it's cooler, uh, not so much humidity, I can run for miles. You know, my, my, I always PR, you know, eight minute mile for like 15 miles. I run 30 miles a day, run 50 miles. I'm feeling good for like trainings and stuff. When summer hits, running 20 miles is like a chore. Like it's so hard, but that is because I'm a big guy, you know, weighing over 270, you know, whatever it is, I've been weighing myself for a little while. It's a lot of weight me moving around. So dropping this weight will make a make a change, guys. Won't be so hot. I'll be feeling good. Yeah. Thank you. 